नमस्कार वीक्षक प्रणाम साथियों एंड हेलो फेलो सेपियंस यू आर वाचिंग मोटर वाला अक्षर फ्रॉम दिस साइड ऑफ द वीडियो आई एम हेडेड अर्ली मॉर्निंग टुवर्ड्स रामोहली लेक व्हिच इज अ स्मॉल लेक वेरी नियर टू माय रेसिडेंस एंड आई हैव अ टू पॉइंट एजेंडा टुडे ऑन दिस शॉर्ट बाइक राइड वन इज टू टेस्ट this wireless mic setup if you have seen my uh, previous video where i had tested uh, my uh, wireless mic setup for the first time uh, for motor vlogging so this is the second attempt with noise cancellation uh, in a very windy situation it's quite windy today so i wanted to test out uh, this um, wireless mic uh, hollyland black m1 with noise cancellation um, so let's see how it performs and uh, the second point in the agenda is to explore that lake using my new drone which i have bought so this would be kind of my practice flight uh, so let's see how it goes there are a couple of uh, narrow village roads to traverse through on the way so we have big humps and what not over here where i feel a bit under confident because uh, the ground clearance of this bike is good compared to other sports bikes and stuff but uh, it's still low um i have a triumph metal sump card in place so that keeps me out of the worry but still it uh, hurts the heart when something touches from beneath it's quite a lot windy today which i didn't expect and uh, this becomes a very good uh, testing ground for the mic setup then because of the wind let's see how this wireless mic performs usually i have observed that when it's windy or when i'm going a bit uh, faster on the road like 80 to 100 or so um the transmission gets cut off and that's the problem with this setup it's not like a wired setup and uh, wireless mics usually you know with the wind that too so there are two problems one is the wind uh, which is like uh, high noise which it cannot process and it cuts off the voice and the second problem is the wireless transmission itself because it's not wired uh, the signal might get cut off or something is what i believe again another village another narrow road wow this is 90 degree turn and another big hump oh man so many hops i think the lake is in sight now let's see so i think there are two uh, points where i can access this lake the first one is right next to this main road where i can just park here get above the bund and uh, have a look and the other one is showing me a way around which is a different point let me try the other point maybe it's a bit more private because this is way too much closer to the road there will be a bit of a disturbance by the way this is the road that also goes and connects to the big banyan tree road and uh, this is a uh, kind of a shortcut towards big banyan tree from my area otherwise i'll have to access the mysore road and then go to the big banyan tree um i usually don't go to big banyan tree but uh, i have gone to uh, manchan belle dam a couple of times which is a fun ride Okay, I need to take a right here. Should be a small narrow road. Oh yes, it is. No, it's a wide road. 
and a concrete road. Uh, and now it becomes narrow. There are a couple of layouts being developed here and hence it was wired to start with. So they must have gotten that done for their purpose of marketing their real estate. But this is a mud road and I am off-roading. Ah. Yeah, a concrete road again, but this road has no access. Okay, the GPS says otherwise Google Maps you bring me to a situation again. Okay, I don't know if this is private property, so I wouldn't dare enter that. And I'll get back. I think it's locked from the inside. Yeah, it's locked from the inside. So, that's a mess. Let me go back. I found another uh, mud road on my way, which definitely goes right next to the lake. And I think that should be private enough for me to fly my drone and practice. Let's see. I'm quite hopeful. I hope that hope doesn't go down the drains. This is bad. It was a good sunrise over there, which I could have captured on my drone if I was already up flying the drone by now. But let's see what I get. small too, it's, it's a big one, the lake, I mean, it's in my sight, I know you folks are not able to see it, I have the height advantage, where did I see that road, the mud road that leads right next to the lake, I've seen that somewhere, somewhere on my way, on the other side, This is the one, okay. This is the one, again. This is a mud road. But uh, I think it's good at private access to the lake. Ideally, I think uh, the tires that this bike has should not give much of a grip <clears throat> on these mud roads and gravel but uh, this gives good grip as far as I have experienced. Okay, this is a very, very dirty place I would say. This is a very dirty place. It's full of garbage all around but uh, should serve our purpose anyways. Let's see, there are a couple of ducks swimming there, looks good. This is the first move that I tried on my new drone out in the open. I am trying to mimic the drone moves that I learned from some of the YouTube drone tutorial videos. The drone that I have bought is DJI Mini 4 Pro. It is a very capable drone with 360 degree obstacle avoidance but I am yet to experience that. So this is the move that takes the drone high and back at the same time while facing the camera towards the subject. The second move is just moving the gimbal while keeping the drone hovering at a specific altitude. This again is an easy move where the drone is rotated either left or right while it hovers at a fixed altitude. This move here is just increasing the height of the drone. This move again is a repetitive move where the gimbal is moved while the drone is at a fixed position. While the drone is being rotated, soak in the views of the landscape and the sunrise.
Now it's time to lower the drone and try some other features that this drone offers. This here is active tracking the subject from the front. You actually select the subject from the remote control and then put it on active track mode and the drone does it all. You need not control anything on the remote control. And now it's tracking from behind. After trying all the basic drone moves that I had in mind, I tried the POI feature that this drone offers on an abandoned helipad on my way back. I feel this is the proper testing ground for this drone move. Isn't it epic? Let me know in the comment section below. I will try and use this drone wherever possible for my upcoming travel videos. I am loving this experience, not just the videography from the drone's eye, but also as a remote control toy. Since I had carried only one battery for this practice session and since it was exhausted, it was now time to return back home. Not sure why this helipad was made, but uh, it proves to be a very good shooting spot. And uh, I like this spot. I have made uh, some videos before on my channel using this place. And there is no proper uh, road to the place, so you have to do all this gimmicks and stunts to get there because the actual access road has been cut off for some reason over here as you can see and there are two helipads actually oh three sorry and the access roads for all the three helipads have been cut off not sure for what reason but that's what it is anyways we indians Unless it is illegal, like if there was a board or something that is trespassing, we find a way to access it. Anyways, it is now time to head back home, do some editing and see how this uh, practice session turned out to be. So until we meet again next week, bye folks, Matte Sigana, Mundi Navara. Request to like, share, subscribe and put down your emotions in the comment section below. Thank you.